All right, here's the situation. You want to record your screen, high performance, 60 FPS, great quality, with some advanced options such as separate audio tracks. Maybe you want to record two monitors, three monitors, however many monitors you have. Maybe you just want one. And uh, also notice that I don't have any recording program open. I have OBS here minimized which is what I'm using to record this with, not Shadowplay. A lot of people use Shadowplay, and Shadowplay does have its benefits, but it also has some major downfalls. And I'm not going to get into that, I'm just going to tell you that OBS is better. Not as convenient, but better. Way more features, definitely. So, with that being said, let me show you here. This is my other monitor over here, and as you can see, you can capture everything going on, 60 FPS, it doesn't hurt your performance. I'm going to show you how to do that and a lot of other stuff, so stay tuned. I'm going to open OBS here and I'm just going to bring it over to my main monitor. Close that. So, how I have it set up, I have my primary monitor with a just normal display capture and yeah I'm not gonna do that but it's just my monitor one display capture then I have dual monitor set up all right and I have monitor one and monitor two and I've just moved them where they're aligned and almost exactly the same shape in real life this monitor is bigger than this monitor so like if I move my mouse over they're misaligned but that's fine you can fix that if you're dedicated and want it perfect but I it's this is fine for me it looks, it looks better in the recording in my opinion if I leave it this way so I leave it this way and then there's full screen capture this just captures any full screen game and I also have it set to a hotkey so I can switch in between them however whatever I need you know whatever seems to fit the situation another thing that Shadowplay doesn't do is you cannot capture separate audio tracks I have my microphone and desktop audio separately captured so I can then open Premiere and I can edit each track individually so if my voice ended up being really quiet for whatever reason I could then boost it in post and with Shadowplay you get one shot and if you mess it up well there went your hours of potential recording maybe you had something that you just couldn't replicate and that sucks because I've been there with this you have two audio tracks and you don't have anything to worry about also you can have up to four audio tracks so yeah if you have other things other than desktop and voice you can mix that in there on different tracks all editable separately in post let's see here on to my output settings I'm using NVENC, NVENC, whatever it's the built-in encoder on NVIDIA GPUs I believe AMD has a equivalent to that but I'm not sure I'm using CBR at 40,000 bitrate preset high performance profile high level 4.2 unchecked two pass encoding I have a GTX 760 and I'm pretty sure on the 7000 series the encoder chip isn't as as good it's not as high performance so I have to use lower settings than some people your mileage may vary I don't know I use mp4 because it's the one that can support multiple audio tracks FLV does not let's see audio I have it set up like that as you can see and this is all default video on scaled resolution set it to your native resolution unless you want to downscale I don't I set downscale filter to Lanxos or however you say that I don't know FPS 60 let me tell you 60 FPS makes a huge difference 
It's just easier to watch. It's, it's that simple. The advanced stuff I didn't touch. Just left that alone. Hotkeys. This is one of the big things that um, OBS has over... What's it called? Shadowplay. Let me switch over here. So, got our hotkeys here. I got OBS here. I have my macro keys on my keyboard set to these ridiculous... Um, combinations control alt shift R for record and like control alt shift something for all of these and then I just uh, map that to whatever hotkey I wanted so I just press one of my macro keys to do that but you can also map it to any key on your keyboard if you don't have macro keys so just pick a key you wouldn't use map it to that function if you even care about hotkeys and then there you go you can change all your settings without touching OBS which is how I can have it minimized and still do that type of thing one of the huge reasons that I use OBS over shadow play is shadow play records in something called variable frame rate what that means is if you go into post-production and you recorded a, a microphone track at the same time that you were recording that video. If every frame in that video was not 60 FPS, if you had some frame drops, if your uh, game went under 60 FPS or whatever FPS that you're recording at, your audio from your microphone is going to get out of sync with that video from Shadowplay. So, professional video editing software does not usually support variable frame rate and so this causes problems because then you can't record an external microphone or any other audio track because it gets way out of sync and it just messes you up with OBS you don't have to worry about that because a it is constant frame rate but b you can just record multiple tracks while you're recording your video within OBS itself and so it just makes life so so much easier nothing can beat the convenience of shadow play but i just can't use it because it it's just not good enough yet i'm really hoping that nvidia adds support for more advanced things in the future but as of right now obs is the way to go it's just way way better right now more features it is also free and there's even more features than what I've shown you but yeah this this is a good program and you really should at least give it a chance if you haven't because it's really good if you're on Windows 8 monitor capture may not be as fluid on Windows 7 just don't even try it but if you're on Windows 10 it works really well in my experience and especially this just the ability to capture more than one monitor that is great for me so hope this video was at least informative and i'll see you guys in the next Game one manufacturers tend to target gimmicky things to pull you in stuff such as gimmicky surround sound or usb functionality and what most people don't know is a lot of the things that game manufacturers advertise as good they do the money because it doesn't pull you to right the beginning and since a lot of the things that game headsets provide are needed in the way